Hey guys, it's Andrew here from Crafter Support. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to share with you this setup of my Agenda 52 planner. Um, this was not sponsored. I am just doing this video because I found this on reduced price at Hobby Lobby and I wanted to share it with you guys just so you could get an idea of what it's like and you can decide if you want to go pick some up as well. So these ones, I like the ring binder as long as the actual planner itself, like the holder, can lay flat. So when I got this one out, I was a little concerned because it seemed pretty stiff in the binding, but it all worked out. It works out perfectly fine. It lays really flat um, once you do a little bit of bending. So if you're a person like me that likes your planner itself to lay flat on your table so you can have multiple things laying open or working with stickers or decorating your planner, whatever it is that you want to do, you can do that with this planner. So the rings are nice. They open up nicely. I rarely use the end pieces. I tried this one. It was a little tough. I saved myself the hassle of pressing down and just pulled them apart. Um, I know you're probably thinking, what's the hassle? Well, it hurts my thumbs. <laughs> so I didn't want to deal with that. I just pulled it apart. So I'm just taking off all the extra wrappers and things. And then I realized, which I hadn't realized before, is there's a pen holder in it. So I'm kind of glad about that. I didn't, like I said, I didn't realize that. I've never bought this brand before um, planner wise. I have purchased their pens in the past. They're like stick pens and I like those. So now I'm just going to show you the, I think I do the um, folders next or maybe, I, no, I do the insert. So this is definitely a faux leather feel. It's not, um, you know, it isn't meant to be like, a, like don't assume it's leather. It's certainly not leather. It's definitely faux leather. It's very pretty though. The gold foiling on it's very nice. Um, and these are the, the fill-ins that you use. So because I'm starting this in March, so today is March 1st, I'm starting this in March and I don't really want the, any extra bulk in my planner if I don't need to. So I end up taking out all of January and all of February because I'm just obviously not going to use it. And this planner is mainly for me. So this is going to be the planner that when I have like a home project that I want to work on, my stuff will go in here. If there's, you know, something that I'm looking to purchase, I'm going to keep track of the price of it in here. So this is basically a complete personal um, planner for me. So my kids' plans won't go in here. Doctor's appointments, nothing like that goes in this planner. I have a separate planner for that. But anything that I'm going to be doing outside of my family planning is going to go into here. So here I am just going through. I'm going to March's dashboard, which I love that it's on the right-hand side. And that's how we're going to start the actual planner. You could keep these and use them as scrap paper. You could wipe them out and just make them note paper, whatever you want to do with it. But I'm not going to do that. I just don't have a use for it. So I'm going to go ahead and just put them in like a scrap pile and just take notes or something off to the side, you know, without putting it back in the planner. So now I think I set that aside and I open the folders, which I think folders are really great to have in planners because you can slide receipts, you can slide, you know, if you do photos or you're looking at paint samples and you need to stick them somewhere, just slide them and I'll just be sliding that stuff into this folder. Um, even card making things that if I want to make a card or I want to design something, I can slide the samples of the colors I'm going to be using right inside of this, throw this in my bag, take it to the craft store and match colors up. So that's an idea for like, that's giving you an idea of what I'm using this particular planner for. Um, so I have four in this set. Again, these were also purchased at Hobby Lobby with this. I have a um, video up on the um, haul that I did and they're just one pocket and it's a nice high pocket. So things should stay in it very nicely and they don't match this particular planner, but they're the ones they had on clearance or I'm sorry, reduced. They don't really say clearance, I guess it says reduced on all of the tickets. So I just went with it anyways, because it still matched perfectly fine, but I'm sure out there, there is ones with the gold and black, um, leopard, style. I just bought the ones that were there that were on sale. I did not see the the matching ones to know if they were originally on sale or if 
they just didn't have them at all. So now I'm just going to add in my planner and I wanted a folder at the very beginning because that would be stuff that, oh, I want to take care of right away. So if I just pull this out, flip it open, I can stick information in there and it's ready to go. And then I decided I definitely wanted one in March. So I put it at the end of March and that would be for um, any receipts. Like, like I said, if I put one in like receipts and stuff in the first folder, I'll know that I may have to refile that somewhere else. So I'm guessing that all of my March receipts are going to go into uh, this folder that's in that I put in for March. And then in April, I put one at the end of April, beginning of the end of April and May and put one of June because that's the end of the school year. And my daughter's graduating. So I wanted a folder in there so I can start tucking things in there. Um, and again, this isn't planning for her, but this is stuff that I want to work on um, individually. So say I want to, um, if I'm working on something for her hope chest, I will put that information in here. So I'll be like keeping it a secret secret from her because my planners do lay out my big planners because it, it will say what we're having for lunch and dinner and breakfast and, you know, doctor's appointments, any place we need to be. So this planner will just be my personal planner of things that, you know, maybe I put in here a birthday list of like gift ideas, things like that. So it's always nice to have something just for you. So like I said, I'm going to put one right before June. That's the end of the school year. And then I also put another one in the beginning of August because I want to, um, I we homeschool, my daughter will be graduated, but my son will be going into ninth grade. So I want to make sure I have all of his school needs done and complete because we have to have a lot of documentation and I will start putting things in there so that I don't forget personally, like what I have to plan for him. I like to plan something special the first day of school. I like to plan um, ideas for field trips and things like that. So I will put those in there and then I'm just leaving the rest of the planner go. So now here's how the layout goes. So I have these stickers that are also the Agenda 52 stickers that I want to be using here just to decorate it up and make it look cute. But the, the layout of this is it gives you the, the dashboard at the beginning and then it gives you the full month spread. And then let me see. I'm looking at it here as I'm talking to you guys. So then in March, at the bottom of your March monthly calendar, it gives you February's and April's down at the bottom right. Then whenever you flip to the weekly, it'll give you that whole week. And then in the bottom, it'll give you a March calendar in a little place for notes. So this way here, if you're planning ahead, so you're thinking, okay, you know, which week, if I last week we went to dance and we only have it every other week, what day do we have it next? You know, just all the things that go on in your head. So that's if you're using your planner for scheduling. For me, it's going to be good so I can mark deadlines. Like, okay, I want, um, I don't know, I want something done by, I can look at my planner and say, okay, March 18th. Well, what do I have to do the week before to meet that goal? So um, that's what I like about having the um, calendar for the next month or for that particular month. So you're always on goal. So then April, it's the same way. It has your dashboard, which I love. It gives you your special dates like April Fool's, Easter, Tax Day, Earth Day, um, Administrative Professionals Day, your decision, um, special occasions, birthdays, and notes. And the weeks are all the same, so there's nothing different. I do, like I said, love that in April to have March and May's down at the bottom right. And that'll just be able, you can go back and say, okay, March 18th, I made this deadline. I had three more weeks, so now I'm into Mar May 6th or April 6th, I'm sorry. And then May, I need to do something else. So like you can circle down there like deadlines that you might have. So you know what you have to do prior to set it up. So these, like I said, this binder is like, when I say it's a personal binder, like I don't want to have like stuff that's going to be like stressful in here or things that maybe, um, like sometimes I don't want to look when my bills are due. I don't want to know whenever I have to have work done. This is going to be like my 
my planner of things I want to do, if that makes sense. So here is the stick pen I wanted to show you guys. It doesn't really fit really well. It falls out. I'm not sure if they have a different brand of pens, but this is their Agenda 52 pens. You guys know how I am about branding. I don't know why they would make a pen that doesn't fit in theirs, but maybe there's different pens out there for Agenda 52. So I will look into that as well. But yeah, so I think it's a really nice planner. I can keep my sticker book in here as well. And yeah, if you guys would like to see more planner videos, I have a bunch of different planners that I use. I can share them with you, um, functional and decorative. Um, just let me know what you guys want to see. All right, if you're not a member of a Facebook page, we'd love to have you come over and join. It's Crafter Sport. And follow us on Instagram again, Crafter Sport. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.